Stress, depression, and anxiety are things we all deal with at one point or another, and sometimes we just need the help of a professional. But what if you know someone who refuses to get help? Joining us now with some tips on how to recommend therapy to someone you love is Joyce Martyr. She's a licensed psychotherapist and CEO of Urban Balance. Thanks for coming in this morning, Joyce. So I think, you know, this is a very tough thing to approach. Mm -hmm. You know somebody, you love them, they're a friend, they're a family member, and, and you know they're going through some hard times. Where do you even begin? It can be a sensitive topic to approach, and I think the first thing is really just to normalize that we're human beings and we all experience, whether it's depression, anxiety, stress, relationship issues at different points in our lives, mm -hmm. and that's part of being a human being. And I really see therapy as something healthy and normal and proactive. I think of it as a routine part of health care. I think that's the difference is that most people don't. They think mm -hmm. if you're going through therapy, you're having a major problem. And that's, that's one of the turnoffs. Okay, so at what point, we're going to take a look at some of the tips that you have for us. Yeah. At what point should you make a move and say something? Because your first tip is to act swiftly. What do you mean by that? Well, I think for a lot of us, we tend to minimize things and we hope problems will go away and magically disappear. So I think the tendency is to wait too long. And I think it's important to say something sooner because therapy can be preventative and it can help people get assistance before they lose a job or lose a relationship mm -hmm. or have other negative consequences. But is there like a red flag? Well, if you're worrying about it and you're thinking about it, mm -hmm. I think it's better to say something. Okay, okay. So then, um, and it's something that we, that we had said earlier on is, is normalize this. Don't make it a shameful thing. And how do you go about doing that? Right, so instead of saying, I think you have problems or I think you're or not you're crazy, well, you're crazy, yeah. mm -hmm. what's going on, to say, you know, I love you, I care about you, I notice these things, and I really want you to get the support that you need, that you're having a normal response, you know, that it's understandable. Right that you're feeling overwhelmed it's and you deserve in, support. And it's all in how you phrase it. Okay, and the yeah. other thing you're saying is express care, not judgment, because the judgment thing will turn everybody off, right? It really does. Yeah. None of us like to feel criticized. Mm -hmm. and you don't need to diagnose someone. You don't need to say, I think you might have bipolar disorder. Right. I think you have ADD. That doesn't feel good. Mm -hmm. To so. just say, I want you to feel your best and okay. you deserve support. And then um, address concerns. What do you mean by that? Well, I think just to be specific and, exp and explain, sometimes people don't know what therapy is like. Mm -hmm. And so I always explain it's like a personal trainer for your mind or for your relationships, that really it's a person who can help coach you through thinking th through things more dif differently in a more positive way. Yeah, and here's the most important thing is provide resources because a lot of times, you know, sure, it's easy for you to suggest it, but where do you begin? Exactly. People get overwhelmed and they don't know where to start. And so providing the resources mm -hmm. is going to set them up for success. And I think a lot of people don't realize that their insurance will cover therapy. So it's important to mention, check your insurance benefits, mm -hmm. look online, find a therapist online. At our practice, Urban Balance, mm -hmm. we're in network with most insurance plans. Many practices are. You can find a good therapist through psychology today if you're at a place where there isn't a practice like Urban Balance. Mm -hmm. Many practices offer a free first initial consultation. That's a that's great smart. way to see if it's yeah. a good fit. Because that's so important, make sure it's a good fit. Because if it's not, they're not going to go back. Right, and mm -hmm. if you need sliding fee services or you have Medicaid, many communities have community mental health centers and other training facilities that offer free or sliding fee services. Okay, and I want to ask you too because that's the other excuse maybe somebody might say is we can't afford therapy, it's too expensive. And that's where you kind of come in. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people don't realize, again, the insurance will cover it. Often it's a $15, $25 copay, or again, there's sliding fee. Mm -hmm. And, and then there's a concern if you report it to your insurance agent agency, then it's on your record as if you have a mental health disorder. That's another fear. It is a fear. And I really believe we all need it at different points in our lives. And that doesn't prevent people from seeing a cardiologist mm -hmm. or any other kind of medical profession. Mm -hmm. And mental health issues are covered under the American with Disabilities Act. Okay. So I really encourage people to look beyond that. Good point. Okay. Finally, I want to ask you this, and I don't know if I asked you this at the beginning. So if you think you know somebody who needs their how do you tell them? What words do you use? I would say, you know what, 
it sounds like you're going through a lot right now. Have you thought about talking to someone? In my experience, I found that so helpful. I've benefited from it personally. I've seen friends really enjoy therapy. Maybe give it a try. They might be able to give you some support and resources mm -hmm. and help you move through this. Okay. I'd be happy to go with you. I love that. Great tips. And people can go to your website, which is what, to get more information? UrbanBalance.com. UrbanBalance.com. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you, Sylvia.